Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here, custom e-bike builder, mechanic, repairer, uh, vendor, everything of all the e-bikes. I do all the things to all the e-bikes. So if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos, do everything e-bikes, go to johnnynerdout.com, check out the shop. But today we're gonna be talking about chargers. Uh, there's a lot of different chargers out there. A lot of people wanna know like, hey, what charger should I get? Things like that. So I wanna go over what charger you should get and the differences between them. I'll kind of go, I'm going to kind of breeze through a little bit of this because I don't want to, I don't want this to be a 20 minute video. Basically, you want to make sure you get the right voltage for your battery. First of all, if you have a 36 bat 36 volt battery, get a 36 volt charger, 48, go to 48, 52, go to 52, et cetera, et cetera. Next, you want to look at your amp hour rating. That's like how big your tank is. I always say you want to divide that by four and then get that charger at the most. So if you've got a 20 amp hour battery, divide that by four, that would be five. So you'd want to get a five amp charger at the most. You know, anything less than that is only just better for your battery. If you fast charge it, it creates a lot of heat. It's a little taxing on your battery. It's not crazy bad, but it's just, you know, it, ideally you'd want to slow charge your battery if at all possible. You know, if you've got a 12, hour batter, 12 amp hour battery, you might want to get like a three amp at the most. So with that being said, there are chargers that are selectable that allow you to change between one, two, three, four, or five, like this one that I carry here at the shop. This one runs about a hundred bucks, where if you get a charger that is, you know, just set at two, three, four, whatever, those start at around 30 bucks, 30 to 40 bucks, depending on the amperage. Higher the amps, um, the more expensive it's gonna be because you have to have more robust components inside to handle that extra power. Next, there's gonna be fanless and fan design. This one has a fan in it. I don't want to necessarily say which one is better or worse because I, I, you know, I'm going to get in trouble. In my opinion, it's a little bit more of opinion. There's pros and cons to both. Um, having a fan keeps all the components inside cooler. So it allows you to run higher power and this thing won't get smoking hot. With that being said, if this gets dirty, if you throw a towel over it accidentally, something covers this, now all of a sudden this fan can't do its job and all this stuff is gonna melt <laughs> if it gets too hot. Fan list design is gonna be hot in general because there's the, it, it heat dissipates through the body of the charger. So th those just generally run hotter. A lot of people are like, oh, it's hot. It's like, well, it's gonna be hot. Uh, but they're generally safe. This is a, a fan list design. You can see there's nothing on here. So the cheapest chargers are gonna be like a two amp charger, two and a half, they, go, they keep going up. Next expensive is going to be a selectable charger. Um, these are great because it allows you to slow charge it whenever you can. And then if you really need to, you can fast charge it. You know, if you, if you're like, well, we got to turn around, you're doing like a long cross country trip and you're stopping for lunch. You might want to fast charge it a little bit to get as much capacity as possible. This one does not have a, a, a percentage that you could charge to. Some chargers have that you could charge it up to 80, 90, hundred percent, something like that. This charger that I carry d does not, but there's other vendors that do. One workaround of that is if you turn the battery to off, it'll charge up to about 90%. And then if you turn it to on, it'll charge to 100%. And those are for the batteries that I carry. I, that doesn't work with all the batteries, but the batteries that I charge allows you to do that. So I would say charge it on off 10 times in a row, and then every 10 charges, turn it on and fully charge it up. And then there's always, there's, there's this, charger which is a step above the one that i just showed you this is the grin satiator this is like the holy grail of chargers it's the smartest it's the safest it's ul listed um, it's fanless this is highly programmable and highly tunable it allows you to make tons of changes in it allows you to set to what percentage you want to charge to at wit which amp that goes up to eight amps and you could go all the way down to like half of an amp if you wanted to charge it. I mean, you could do crazy stuff with this. You could do force charging. So if you have a battery that's in sleep mode, you can force charge it, like send a surge to wake it up. So this is this is definitely expensive. This is over $300 for this charger, but this also works with a, a number of voltages. All these other charges, chargers only work with a set voltage. This one is compatible from 24, 24 volt batteries up to 52 volt batteries. So highly universal if you have a bunch of different components out there and they all use different voltages, not a problem. Um, it does come stock with an XLR from Grin. So you're gonna probably, most likely need an adapter for it, but check out johnnynerdout.com or email me, whatever. I have 
pretty much all the adapters for whatever you're going to need to adapt it to. So anyways, that's the overview on chargers. Hopefully that made sense for you. Remember, try to keep it, divide it by four, whatever your amp hour rating is, and try to keep it to that at max. If you go over it a little bit, it's not, it's really not that big of a deal, but in general rule of thumb, that's what you want to do. All right. Thanks for looking, guys. If you want to support the shop, go to johnnynerdout.com. Be happy to help you with consultations, book. We, we carry everything you're ever going to need for any type of e-bike conversion or anything like that. So thanks, guys. Whew.